Hello everyone! Welcome to the extensive and comprehensive tutorial for Pharmanaut's powerful web app designed for satellite monitoring. This in-depth tutorial will go into great detail to help you understand and interpret various satellite datasets available through Pharmanaut's robust platform. We aim to provide you with a thorough understanding of the functionalities and features that make satellite monitoring an invaluable tool for modern agriculture. Here's the web application, showcasing five submitted locations. Each location comes with its own set of unique and dedicated analytics. To kick things off, let's delve straight into one specific location to see what insights and interpretations we can glean. We'll start by examining the data from April 14th, 2022. This will offer us a snapshot of what's happening at that particular location. First and foremost, let's determine if there's any plantation present at this location or not. This can easily be done by clicking on the ETCI button, which displays the true colored RGB image of the location. Upon viewing the image, we can notice that there is indeed some plantation visible, although the height of the crops may not appear very impressive at this stage. Next, let's proceed to analyze the crop performance in more detail. The Pharmanaut platform offers a multitude of metrics and analytical tools to do so. We can assess the crop growth rate, understand the overall performance of the crops, and check whether any patches are infested by pests or diseases. This comprehensive analysis helps in making informed decisions to optimize crop health and yield. Moving on to irrigation metrics, the platform allows us to evaluate various factors such as water stress levels within the plantation, soil moisture levels, and the evapotranspiration rate. Each of these parameters plays a crucial role in ensuring the proper hydration of crops and maintaining soil health. I'll provide a detailed explanation of what these parameters mean as we progress. For maintaining soil health, we have access to soil organic carbon data. This data becomes particularly useful when the crop is harvested and the soil is entirely exposed to the atmosphere. During these periods, you can examine soil organic carbon levels to identify areas where the content has declined. This enables you to prioritize soil testing in those locations and determine the right nutrients needed to replenish the soil. Consequently, you can restart the cultivation cycle with a well-restored soil profile. Additionally, the platform helps you identify areas prone to waterlogging through digital elevation model data. For instance, in the event of heavy rainfall or excessive irrigation, you can pinpoint locations where water may get flooded or logged. This insight enables you to take preemptive measures such as installing proper drainage systems or additional pumps to mitigate waterlogging. Even under extreme weather conditions, such as heavy cloud cover, the platform can still provide meaningful data. Through radar data, which can penetrate cloud cover, the sensors on the satellite can capture information about crop performance. This ensures that you have access to continuous satellite data, even during adverse weather conditions, which is crucial for ongoing monitoring and timely intervention. Now let's dive deeper into crop performance analysis. When crops are in the early stage of growth, we use indices like NDVI, Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, EVI, Enhanced Vegetation Index, and SAVI, Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index. Let's begin with visualizing NDVI data. NDVI provides insights into crop performance by displaying images encoded in a specific color map. The color map ranges from dark red to dark green, each color corresponding to a different growth level. For example, light orange to light green indicates medium growth, light orange to dark red suggests poor growth, and light to dark green signifies good growth. Currently, we see that the growth rate is around 0.4. For very early stage crops, we might use a different color map that enhances the sensitivity to capture the precise growth rate. For instance, in the specific case of this farm, switching to the second color map provides a more nuanced view of the crop performance, highlighting the areas with better growth, dark green versus those lagging, light colors. This differential growth indicates that certain parts of the farm may require targeted interventions, such as additional fertilizers or growth regulators to help these weaker areas catch up. 
In addition to NDVI, EVI and SAVI indices offer even more precision by accounting for atmospheric conditions and soil reflections. These indices correct for any atmospheric anomalies and soil water content variations, thus providing a more accurate depiction of crop performance during the early growth stages. While NDVI is generally sufficient for many cases, EVI and SAVI can be particularly useful when greater accuracy is required. As crops progress beyond the early growth stage and achieve a certain minimum height, we switch to using the NDRE, Normalized Difference Red Edge, index. NDRE is tailored to assess crop health throughout the canopy, even penetrating deeper layers. This can reveal if there are any issues such as nutrient deficiencies or disease presence even at the bottom layers of the canopy, which might not be apparent from surface level observations. Currently, since our crops are still at an early stage, NDRE data isn't as relevant. However, as the crops grow, NDRE becomes invaluable for continued health assessments. Switching our focus to irrigation metrics, the platform starts with the Normalized Difference Water Index, NDWI, which measures water stress levels within the crop. We can see an overview of the plantation, identifying areas that may require additional irrigation or adjustments in water management practices. Next, we look at the NDMI, Normalized Difference Moisture Index, data to examine soil moisture levels across different locations within the plantation. For instance, even if overall water stress isn't prominent, NDMI data can reveal specific areas with poor soil moisture. These insights help in ensuring that irrigation is evenly distributed, tackling zones with lower moisture levels effectively. The evapotranspiration rate is another critical parameter, showing how much water is evaporating and transpiring from the plants. This helps in understanding water consumption patterns, ensuring that irrigation schedules are optimized to meet the plant's needs without overwatering or underwatering. Following irrigation, we move on to the SOC, soil organic carbon data. This parameter is crucial for understanding the fertility and health of the soil. Low levels of organic carbon in the soil can be detrimental to crop growth. By identifying areas with declining SOC, steps can be taken to improve soil health through targeted interventions, such as adding organic matter or specific fertilizers to enhance nutrient levels. For water logging estimation, the platform utilizes digital elevation model data. This helps in identifying areas within the plantation that are at risk of water retention during heavy rainfall or excessive irrigation. Ensuring proper drainage and taking preemptive actions can significantly mitigate the risks associated with water logging, preserving the health of the crops. Regular updates and satellite data are key to the Pharmanaut platform. New data appears in the Select Image Date section with notifications sent to users. Historical data from 2018 to 2021 supports comprehensive analyses. For crop monitoring, comparing images from dates like April 14th and April 29th helps farmers track growth. This comparison is useful for identifying significant changes, allowing timely interventions. The platform includes features like the Index Results section, providing performance insights and growth anomalies over time. Time series analyses assist in understanding growth dynamics and planning. The Compare Images feature lets users examine farm development visually by selecting different dates. Notable changes serve as red flags, prompting immediate action. Historical data allows for comprehensive analysis. Accessing past data helps farmers understand trends and make informed decisions. This perspective is invaluable for long-term planning and improving cultivation practices. The side-by-side -side image comparison feature helps spot subtle changes in crop health. Early detection of issues allows for timely interventions, preventing minor problems from escalating. In conclusion, Pharmanaut's web app for satellite monitoring offers tools and analytics for comprehensive crop management. From growth metrics to irrigation and soil health analyses, the platform optimizes crop performance.
With real-time updates, historical data, and intuitive analysis tools, farmers are equipped to ensure healthy, high-yielding crops. Thank you for joining this tutorial. I hope you found this overview useful.